first? We have one minute. Read the question. Okay. Write it down on your paper. Every question has to be answered. Now, I'll give you one minute to do that. So one minute starts now. Okay, time's up. So who go first? I go first. <laughs> I'll give you two minutes to speak. So that means you'll begin with your answer. A beautiful place in my country. So what's going to happen is there are two papers. Question. Read it one minute. Write something in this paper for a minute. The examiner will take it. The examiner will take the questionnaire. Oh. So you will be left with your outline. My answer. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. So you ready, Alvin? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you begin <laughs> with a beautiful place in my country. One okay. minute starts now. I mean, two minutes starts now. Okay. A beautiful place from my country, from my country is Tagaytay City. Okay. So... Tagaytay City is located in area of Cavite. Uh, Cavite, which in uh, which uh, uh, one hour travel from my place in Batangas. By going there, you can travel by land, of course. So you can, if you have a car, yeah, you can uh, travel by by a car or uh, there. But there is a public transportation like a bus or a jeepney so uh, uh, so uh, uh, that's why I uh, <clears throat> I uh, uh, so, so you can travel there by a tra public transportation by a bus or a jeepney, or if you have a motorcycle, so you can easily uh, go there as well. Uh, Tagaytay City is uh, one of a uh, uh, tourist destination. Tourist destination in my place, so uh, <clears throat> uh, you can see there a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, tourist spot like at the Al Volcano. And uh, residence in which you can see uh, uh, animals because on that place there's a zoo. And aside from that, uh, you, you can see there also mm -hmm. a lot of restaurants that you can eat our famous bulalo or uh, or a very uh, famous uh, uh, fish with which is called tawilis. And uh, <clears throat> thank you. And you. That ends your. Uh, part two of the speaking test. <clears throat> actually, that yeah, that's actually good. You were able to maximize the two minutes. You did not run out of something to say, which is a good. Um, th that's actually a, a good turn. I mean, uh, you were able to utilize the two minutes. Uh, we just have to polish what you're gonna say and lessen the verbal nods, like uh. Mm, uh okay. Yeah. So it's so it's like uh, direct to the point. Absolutely. Yeah. Rather, 
Yeah, rather than saying that much fuck. Yes, verbal uh, nods because that will be recorded. Imagine if you're listening to an audio and the oh, and the speaker is saying, "Ah, uh, if you work out the verbal nods, it's already thirty seconds." So that will be a minus point. <laughs> yes. okay, okay, okay. Oh. So we have to make sure uh, that every second count, everything that we say will will have a score. Okay, cool. Angel, yes. your turn. Your two minutes starts now. A beautiful place to visit in my country is Boracay Island. It is located in Visayas area. You will get there either by plane or by land. So from from Malay Aklan, going to the to that island, it would take like 15 minutes by uh, boat. And um, there is a lot of things to do when you get there, like uh, water activities, fire dancing, if you love eating seafoods, we have there. Um, we have this, like, if you are into bar also, and... If you are a beach lover, a nature lover, I would recommend Boracay Island to visit. Continue. Oh, wala pang one minute. Continue. Let me oh, pause it. Man. Yeah. Um, uh, you were able to answer everything. Uh, so for you, Alvin and Angel, how are we going to maximize it? Uh, you have only consumed one minute and uh, 10 seconds. So we expand our answers. Where is it? It is in Visayas region. Um, it is the second largest group of islands in the Philippines. So from uh, how to get there. So from Manila, uh, we have options by land or by, through air. Uh, through land, that could possibly like take us 24 hours or more. So I would prefer to take it by air because it would only take me 45 minutes. So you can describe it that way. Um, you can also tell, tell the price because that would add. Uh, so oh. you try to describe it, you expand it. When you get there, uh, you can say there are beautiful beaches. You can also describe it. It's actually uh, the number one beach uh, to tra as a travel, um, a go-to place um, in the Philippines. Uh, it has awarded numerous time from different uh, awarding body when it comes to travel and tourism internationally. Uh, there are a lot of tourists there, so you can describe it that way. So let's give you another two minutes. <laughs> mm. Breathe in, breathe out. So you begin with a beautiful place in my country to visit in my country. Ready, Angel? Two minutes. Oh, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the yeah, from the okay. top. It's just two minutes. You can do it. Okay. All right. Your two so, minutes starts now. A beautiful place to visit in my country is Barakay Island. It is located in the size area. So from Manila, there are three options. Um, it's either by you will travel by plane. That would take 45 minutes from Manila going to Malay, Aklan, or uh, by land. Like if you're coming from Iloilo, it would take only three hours drive. And then if you will take by uh, ship, boat, yeah. So I guess coming from Manila, it would take 24 hours, 12 hours, yes. like that. And Boracay Island is one of the uh, famous place in Philippines. <laughs> the beaches are nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a white sand. White sand. <laughs> One minute pa lang. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. And Describe then... Um, you have uh, a lot of things to do when you get there, like water activities, 
um, Thailand hopping. If you love eating seafoods, we have bars also. And then, um, <laughs> let's pause. <laughs> Ubusin mo yung oras, AJ. Okay. So, describe mo siya. Sabihin natin kanyari, beach, uh, white sand. Um, have, but have you been to Boracay? Yes. Yes. See, what did you do when you get there? When I was there, oh, okay. I actually tried this banana boat. Um, It would cost mm-hmm. around this yeah. much for 30 minutes. And it was uh-huh. enjoyable with, because we went there together with my relatives. Or maybe um, it's like a, a honeymoon. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it could be like a, an island tour date for me and my um, partner. So you can describe it that way. Sige, huwag ano natin, babalikan natin, hindi kita tatanda ng Angel until you get to reach the two minutes. Two minutes, oh my God. So you there's describe it. There's a lot of words. Like for example, there's a night market. Yeah, like remember, uh, like take it from your experience. Experience, okay. Yeah, because you will, you will be able to talk more from your experience. Mas marami kang masasabi doon sa... Uh, if you relate it from what you've done before, because you're just describing it. Part three of the speaking test. Remember, we only yeah. have 14 minutes to do it. This is a follow-up uh, questions. So it talks about tourism. So we will be asked about attitudes toward tourism. Okay, one question for each of you. Alvin, why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time. Why do you think people like to travel to different places in their free time? Why do you think people like to travel on their free time? To different places in their free mm-hmm. time, like uh, taking vacations. Um. <laughs> Bakit daw sa tingin mo gusto mag-travel ng mga tao sa different place pag free sila? Ikaw, related with yourself, why would you like to travel to a different place if you are free? I'd like to travel in different places during my free time. Uh, one of the reasons is to release my stress. Yeah, of course, because, you know, we are uh, we are in a situation that's... Uh, a lot of stress, especially in work, personal experience, personal life. So that is one of the reasons. And aside from that, also is to uh, be aware of uh, what their cultures. And uh, aside from that is, uh, and yeah, the tourist destination, yes. So uh, I, I want to experience that as well. And the food, the food also, and what they have on that, uh, uh, what we have on their countries. Period. So... Okay, then done. <laughs> you can end it that way. Uh, you answer the question, you give a reason, um, you can like give a, an end sentence, uh, like, uh, I mean, an ending for your answer, like, um, that's actually what I'm going to do. Um, after uh, for December for you you can like most likely like three sentences uh rephrase the question and then tell your answer to say your reason and then an ending sentence okay. your question angel how do you see the red to reason <laughs> changing in your country in the future on Miss Universe no? Angel, no. how, do see... <laughs> how do you see tourism changing in your country in the future? Sa tingin mo, ano kaya yung pagbabago ng tourism sa, sa Pilipinas in the future? Oh, but where, where in the Philippines are you from, Angel? Iloilo. Iloilo. See, um, what is the best place to go to Iloilo? 
in the inner. We have a lot of beaches there. Yes. So if um, you love, yeah. Do you think the beaches in Iloilo are uh, Boracay quality? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no but is there like, do you think Iloilo has a potential when it comes to tourism? Yes. Why? How? <laughs> uh, that's okay. Related, uh, related from your own, um, from your own background. So if you're from Iloilo, uh, there's probably a good tourist spot in Iloilo, and it's not saturated. You know, um, it's not popular yet, so that means it's more affordable. Um, it's it's a good place for people to have a quiet vacation. Um and uh there are a lot of good seafood maybe I think that's the yeah. idiots <laughs> that's what it is known for. <laughs> Answer this question, Angel. Just a minute or less than a minute. How do you see tourism changing in your country in the future? <laughs> Sorry. So tingin mo ano yung magiging pagbabago ng tourism? Uh, sa iyong bansa, sa hinaharap. Ang hirap kasi. It is... <laughs> okay, cool. Let, let, let us, let it pass. But again, I'll help you, don't worry. Um, It's just the practice. So, ang mga pwede natin... Hindi paano mag-start doon. <laughs> you answer it, be uh, we begin it with, Um, I believe in, uh, tourism will change in my country uh by with we can say that uh because of the current pandemic um people will tend to be more cautious when it comes to the number of people visiting in their country there will be limitation when it comes to the people that would visit uh people would have requirements uh like showing that they have a clear uh health history People would make sure that they are healthy when they're traveling, uh, given that um, we came from a COVID pandemic. So you, we can like share that because that's actually the future. In the future, I can see that uh, we may have um, uh, a progressive um, like city in Iloilo, one of the beautiful places in my uh in in my country because uh Iloilo has so much to offer we have beautiful is it Dina, Dina, Dinagyang festival is it in, Dinagyang festival yes Dinagyang festival <laughs> where um for the past few years there were no visitors because of the pandemic and i think it could be like yeah stuff like that you can mm-hmm. relate it from your background so um it's been an hour uh so we will re- revisit speaking tests um, in the uh, in the future reviews that we will do uh we'll do warm up test and that will be speaking before we proceed with topics like listening reading uh writing i will help you don't worry um angel and alvin this is your first session so <laughs> oh, we don't expect <laughs> that you're already comfortable but i hope that you are comfortable with me and i'm a fun teacher hindi <laughs> naman ako strict i'm not a strict teacher uh you can easily approach and like tell your comments if there are if you have like suggestions on how we can uh do the review approach but um with the past uh classes that i had this is the most um, effective one, uh, but I'll help you. Questions? Thank you. Nag-enjoy ako, Fran. Nag-enjoy siya. <laughs> Ikaw, uh, hindi. Tahimik kasi Angel. ako. Hindi, nag-enjoy naman. <laughs> tahimik kasi ako, so hindi ko alam paano magsalita. Kasi, ang uh, nangyayari kasi minsan kasi nagpatanungan kami, like for example, yung right pronunciation, so ginagano niya ako. So, syempre, ako parang naingi ako in front of her, pero, Nasa isip ko kasi na pag andito na yung actual, so sabi ko, kumbaga mag, mag, ano, mag, mag, mag-excel kasi alam mo na kumbaga 
kumbaga interesadong matuto eh. So, yun yes. yung Both natin. of you, I can see that, no? Um it, it's it's very doable. Yung score na 7.5 to 8 on a general. Earlier when I was trying to gauge her speaking ability, kayang-kaya eh. Kayang-kaya. We just need more practice. And mm -hmm. um this is the first session that you had. So I don't ex I didn't expect like any anything yet. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for us to improve. There are a lot of practices that we can do. So I'll be with you along the way. Um, kailangan makover natin yung four na uh, skills, and uh, we just completed speaking. Yeah.